Hi, I'm Daniel Bowers with the ProLiant Development Team, and I'm here to introduce to you the HP ProLiant DL385 G7 server. The G7 server has retained some of the key benefits that have made this the most popular server in the world based on the AMD Opteron processor. It's a 2U rack server with up to two AMD Opteron processors, hot plug hard drives, hot plug redundant power supplies. But what we've done in the G7 is engineered in high core count processors, a lot of memory capacity and high memory bandwidth, four network controllers, and the next generation of our integrated lights out management controller. When you put those together, what you've got is a server tuned for virtualization. However, it's still flexible enough that you can use it for other workloads. So you can standardize on this model for your enterprise data center or for your smaller, more demanding facilities that a smaller medium business might use. Let's take a look under the hood of the DL385 G7 server and see what makes it tick. The G7 uses up to two AMD Opteron 6100 series processors. Codenamed MagniCores, these processors have up to 12 cores apiece in them. That means that for multi-threaded applications and workloads, you can get a high amount of performance out of this server. And these 12 cores, which by the way is the largest number of cores in an x86 processor, are balanced by a very large L3 cache, a shared 12 megabyte L3 cache. Coupled to the processors are four channels of DDR3 memory. And when you put four channels of memory together with the DDR3 technology, what you've got is very high capacity and very high bandwidth for those applications, such as virtualization, which require a lot of memory throughput. In fact, you can get double the max memory capacity and up to 66% faster memory performance with this generation of server over the prior generation. With the AMD Opteron 6100 series processor than you could with prior generations of AMD servers. So that makes this processor and this server ideal for those highly multi-threaded applications that have a lot of different workloads going on. It's also great for applications that need high memory bandwidth like virtualization. Plus the AMD Opteron processor very good with floating point. So a lot of your high performance applications can really take advantage of this processor. The AMD Direct Connect 2 architecture with its high speed connections between the processors and the I.O. subsection is really of a benefit here. Hypertransport 3 allows processors to communicate over a hypertransport link at 6.4 megatransfers per second. And we've put an AMD chipset into the server that supports Hypertransport 3. That means not only will the processors be able to communicate quickly between each other, but the processors can communicate very fast with the I.O. section. For the AMD Opteron 6100 series of processors, we're actually supporting the normal power processors in this platform, as well as the high frequency SE processors and the power efficient HE line of 6100 series processors. Let's take a look at the memory subsection. To help virtualization workloads, we've greatly expanded the amount of memory capacity that this G7 server has. In this server, we support up to 24 DIMMs. That means you can reach capacities of up to 256 gigabytes. And there's actually a number of choices in memory that we're going to give you with this server. With DDR3 memory, we're offering registered DDR3, which gives you that scalable high capacity memory, or another option, unbuffered DDR3, for its lower price point. There are even low power DIMM options, so you can focus on power efficiency, if that's your metric. Other benefits of DDR3 include a temperature sensor that's built into each of the DIMMs. What that enables is greater monitoring and control of the thermal characteristics of the server. Now, let's take a look at the I.O. subsection. In 2009, HP introduced the modular Smart Array controller family. It was a series of components, controllers, options that all worked together, the same set of options and drivers and firmware. What we've done with the DL385 G7 is integrated the Smart Array P410 controller into the server. 
This controller, high, high capacity RAID controller, with connections of up to 6 gigabits per second to each of the uh, hard drives. And it shares those benefits of this modular smart array family, including the options like the cache modules that go up to one gigabyte cache. These cache modules greatly increase the read performance of hard drives. We've also got battery-backed and flash-back modules for those caches, which again improves the performance as well as greatly improves the reliability of the storage that's on your internal hard drive arrays. An added benefit of integrating this controller is that we freed up a PCI slot. So you can get up to six available PCI Express slots in the DL385G7. And those are PCI Express Generation 2 slots, twice as fast as the prior generation server had. We offer flexibility in the I.O. subsection. There are a number of different riser card options for the DL385G7 server. So you could choose six PCI Express slots, or using different riser options, get other things, such as by 16 PCI Express slots, or even legacy PCI X slots to support older hardware. 